preparations have been made here on the ground and you could see behind me these the, the, the floating waters and coming down towards the beach of Manvi they tell you the story that how the evening and the night of the landfall of the cyclone Bipur Joy it's gonna be uh, you know no one is uh, trying to take it very casually the government here is making sure that the message is very loud and clear to each and every individual talking about the area in which we are at the moment that is Mandvi, Kutch and, and, and related to seven districts near to this. Uh, it has been a total lockdown kept here in the eight districts of Gujarat. No one is allowed to come out. Everyone has been said and, the, and with the use of ham radio also. You know, there are so many areas which are far off uh, into different islands also which are just uh, near to uh, near to Kutch and near to all the areas of uh, Saurashtra. They have been contacted through ham radio yesterday. Uh, the the chief minister of Gujarat through ham radio directly was in contact with all these people because you know the all the problem lies there the main problem lies there is to how to take and rehabilitate all those persons more than 74,000 people from all these areas they have been evacuated and they have been taken to a very safe place now it is a time of low tide you could see behind me it's a low tide now and after an hour or so we are expecting a high tide during the low tide, it's very, uh, you know, it, it doesn't seem uh, that it is so aggressive now, but in an hour's time, it changes. Uh, it, it, it changes all its roots in minutes so it, it cannot be taken very lightly that is what we are getting through the Indian meteorological department and the NDRF team and the local government officials they are uh, they are requesting the people and then requesting all to not take it lightly just we are seeing the sunlight because all the people are thinking that it is the broad daylight and sunlight here at the beach so it's all gonna be very easy for the day but it's not still the warning Prevails. Still, each and every individual has been asked to stay safe at their home and manage their own security as much as possible. You know, talking about the evacuation process, late till night, the evacuation process from all the villages nearby to uh, Kutch, to Bardvi, to Jamnagar, to Jakhau nearby, that took place. And uh, the, uh, the, the CM, Bhupendra Patel, was directly in contact with all the, all the government officials making sure that no stone is left unturned. But the big question is that uh, when Bipar Joy is going to hit in the evening time between 4 to 8 in the night, what happens at that point in time? Here, where we are standing at ground zero, uh, the winds are blowing at an average speed of around about 45 to 50 kilometers per hour, uh, which is expected to increase as the day uh, as the day progresses. So again, the warning is there. Uh, people have to take their own caution. That is what the government is saying. And all the policies which were made by the government, the proactive measures, especially the zero casualty plan. Which is the which is the main aim of the Gujarat government that no casualty has to be seen. Yesterday night also we saw three people drowned down into the ocean, but they came back safely. That was fortunate enough for them. Up till now there has been no casualty as far as uh, due to Bipur Joy is concerned. Only two uh, two, two small children had to lose uh, uh, lost their lives due to the falling of the fall into the, uh, the gusty winds hmm. so that is the only case which we have had here up till now other than that no casualties uh, due to the cyclone has come up but the big point here is you know safety and security measures they are being taken uh, Amit Shah uh, you know the union home minister is directly in contact with Bhupendra Patel and uh, Amit Shah is in directly contact with the Prime Minister Narendra Modi also so the message is very loud and clear that you have to manage the security scrutiny and other other than that, the main thing is you, you cannot take this cyclone. You just see now, you know, the, the, the atmosphere has just changed. We had uh, the sunlight here. Now you see the clouds coming down. The, all the dark clouds have just covered up the sun. That tells you the story. Then the thunderstorms have already begun. That is the that's the reason you that, that's the reason where you could see in the sky there the the whole of the sun has been covered by the clouds. Well, overcast, overcast skies and even as the system continues to move the north northeastwards, it is expected to trigger gale winds and blowing up to a whopping 140.
to 150 kilometers per hour, and that is all over the eastern central Arabian Sea. But also, what is more important, what happens after the landfall? We'll talk about those preparations there. Siddharth, we'll come back to you. In the meantime, please do stay safe. Uh, let's also get you another report as far as uh, the challenges that also come across when it comes to combating them arising out of an impending storm. Let's play out another report. आज ही ये जो तूफान है वो दस्तक देगा टक से टकराएगा आपने देखा होगा कि हवाओं की रफ्तार बहुत ज्यादा बढ़ चुकी है ये गुजरात का मैप है इसमें आप देखिए कि रन ऑफ कच्छ से लेकर के मांडवी और ये जकाऊ पोर्ट है और ये पूरा जो गल्फ ऑफ कच्छ है ये पूरा जो इलाका है द्वारका पोरबंदर ओखा ये सारे इलाकों में हवाओं की रफ्तार बहुत ज्यादा बढ़ चुकी है बारिश शुरू हो चुकी है समुद्र में ऊंची लहरें उठ रही है यानी बहुत बहाव है स्थिति बन गई है यहाँ पर और ज्यादातर हमने देखा है कि जो अरब सागर में साइक्लोन बनते हैं जो समुद्री तूफान बनते हैं वो इस तरह से अगर देखा जाए तो वो यहाँ अगर कोई तूफान बनता है तो वो उसका डायरेक्शन ज्यादातर ये होता है इस तरह से जाकर के वो इधर चला जाता है या यहाँ से जाकर के इधर चला जाता है बहुत कम साइक्लोन होते हैं जो कराची या ये गुजरात की तरफ आते हैं लेकिन ये इससे पहले ताउते आया था और उससे पहले भी कुछ साइक्लोन आए हैं लेकिन वो तट से पहले ही कमजोर पड़ गए हैं लेकिन ये साइक्लोन थोड़ा सा अलग है जिसने बहुत लंबा सी ट्रेवल किया है 6 जून से लेकर के अभी तक 15 तारीख तक ये लगातार समुद्र में बना हुआ है इसको एनर्जी मिलती रही है लेकिन सबसे अच्छी बात यह है कि जब ये तट के काफी ज्यादा नजदीक यहाँ पर जब आ जाएगा जो आज शाम तक पहुंचेगा तो क्या होगा कि यहाँ से जो जो शुष्क हवाएं यानी सूखी हवाएं वो आने लग जाएंगे उसी सर पर कम हो जाएगा और ये इसमें क्या होगा कि जो एनर्जी है इसकी कम होने लग जाएगी इसमें 170 किलोमीटर की रफ्तार से हवाएं चल रही हैं शाम के समय यानी कि चार से छह के बीच में जब ये लैंडफॉल कर रहा होगा उस समय हवाओं की रफ्तार 130 से 140 किलोमीटर हो जाएगी लेकिन वो उतनी हवा भी काफी ज्यादा खतरनाक होती है तेज हवाओं के साथ बारिश होगी तो उससे काफी ज्यादा खतरा है पेड़ उखड़ सकते हैं कम्युनिकेशन और टेलीफोन की लाइन वगैरह टूट सकती है उखड़ सकती है और उसी तरह से जो कच्चे घर है उनको नुकसान हो सकता है जो छतें हैं वो उड़ सकती है टी शर्ट उड़ सकते हैं छोटे मोटे जो झोंपड़ियां हैं उनको काफी ज्यादा नुकसान हो सकता है तो और पानी भर सकता है कई इलाकों में तो ये सारा खतरा बना हुआ है ये इतनी बड़ी अगर ये आई है यानी कि इसके चारों तरफ हवाएं बहुत तेजी से घूम रही होंगी तो ये आई जब यहाँ पर एंटर करेगी समझिए यहाँ पर ये एंटर किया तो ये आई का ये पहला सिरा जब एंटर करेगा तो घड़ी की उल्टी दिशा में घूम रही होगी हवा तो यहाँ से दक्षिण से और दक्षिण जो पश्चिमी हवाएं बहुत तेज से चलेंगी जहां पर ये लैंडफॉल करेगा 130 से 140 किलोमीटर की रफ्तार से और जब ये आगे चला जाएगा तो ये जो बीच का जो हिस्सा है यानी ये बीच का हिस्सा है ना आई का यहाँ पर मौसम साफ हो जाता है आधे पौन घंटे तक ऐसा लगता है कि तूफान चला गया जैसे ही आप अगर उस समय आपको घर के अंदर ही रहता है और जब ये आई का दूसरा हिस्सा जब लैंडफॉल करेगा तो फिर इधर से हवा बहुत तेज चलेगी फिर 130 से 140 किलोमीटर की रफ्तार से हवा चलती है तो जिस जगह लैंडफॉल होगा वहां सबसे ज्यादा खतरा है और एक और बात है कि जब यह लैंडफॉल कर चुका होगा तो उसके बाद क्या होगा कि लैंडफॉल के बाद ये आगे बढ़ेगा और इस तरह से यहाँ पर आकर के ये राजस्थान पर डिप्रेशन बन जाएगा और ये उत्तर भारत के उत्तर पश्चिम भारत पर लो प्रेशर एरिया बन जाएगा यानी कि इसकी एनर्जी कम होती जाएगी लेकिन 16 तारीख 15 तारीख को तो पूरे इलाके में बहुत तेज बारिश देगा 16 तारीख को जो दक्षिणी जो इलाके हैं गुजरात के यहाँ पर मौसम साफ होने लग जाएगा लेकिन जो उत्तरी जो कच्छ इलाका है ये और जो कराची और उसके आसपास के इलाके जो चोर है बदीन है और हैदराबाद है भावलपुर है ये सारे इलाकों में भी तेज बारिश होगी जैसलमेर जोधपुर बाड़मेर सुरोही पाली नागौर ये सारे इलाके भी मूसलाधार बारिश देखेंगे तेज हवाएं देखेंगे तो यहाँ पर खतरा बना रहेगा 16 तारीख तक Right, so you saw that report that has been coming in. Exactly what happens after a landfall, because preparations for that, Siddharth, is also all the more important. We are told that even when it comes to the security forces that have been deployed, Rajnath Singh has been tweeting that the chief minister has been talking about the ground situation. In fact, when it comes to the union health minister, he is there on the ground there monitoring the situation. Yeah, absolutely. First of all, let's just uh, let let me get you the uh, the sense of the situation here. Just a few minutes ago, we were just discussing about the sunshine and all these things, and suddenly you see the winds have started to blow up. The gusting winds have start started to pass by through this beach, and the rain had the rain gods have also now started to shower down. So that is what how the situation prevails here at the Bandwi Beach. Talking about the security, you know, uh, the preactive. measures and preventive measures have been taken eight of the nine of the ministers of the gujarat cabinet other than each and every 
every MLA of the affected areas, that is eight MLAs and the member, four member of four to five member of parliament, other than the central minister. Mansuk Pandavia along with Purshottam Rupala and uh, the senior member of uh, parliaments have been given the responsibility to make sure that there is no casualty. All the government policies and all the proactive plans, they are put into place at the right place at the right time. So this all, it is a basically a coordination now between the government and uh, the, the, the center of the central government and the state government. They're trying to make sure that everything is, is, is safe each and Every person is safe now. Talking about this area, now the, has, the atmosphere has just changed now. In, in, in just an hour or two, we are expecting, we just got this update from the local meteorological department that it's going to rain very heavily now for one or two hours. There you see the whole wind, there you see the whole of the ocean. And that's exactly the point from where uh, the cyclone Pipar Joy, which is less than 200 kilometers now from Jakau, is going to pass. How strong it would be, what effect will it have in these areas, that is remain to be seen. But uh, one thing is for sure, no nothing can be taken lightly. Uh, it, you cannot say that it is going to pass away, it's going to pass away right from the, right from the middle of the path but it's not going to happen that way that is the main thing secondly use of the ham radio for the second time last time with the ham radio which was used to communicate with the remote areas that has been also done uh, more than 75,000 people have been ev evacuated and the most number of evacuations is done from this area Kutch only more than 18,000 people have been evacuated in past uh, six to seven days uh, so you, the number tells you the story that how important it is for the government to make sure that each and every individual is at the same place now talking about the hospitals you know uh, the hospitals Hospitals have been uh, uh, facilitated with NDRF medical team, SDRF medical teams, along right. with Army, Garuda team also is there. Uh, you know, uh, the Naval Coastal Navy Guards well, are also the playing live a significant updates, as you can role. See the weather is changing in seconds and right behind you, the picture that uh, is coming uh, from Gujarat, where Siddharth has been reporting live from. Siddharth, please keep yourself safe. That has been the last update on part of the IMD that has also been shared on the very severe cyclonic storm Bipurja over the Northeast Arabian Sea at around 2.30 hours IST on the 15th of June, that it is about 200 kilometers west and southwest of the Jakku port in Gujarat and will be crossing uh, Saurashtra and Kutch adjoining Pakistan coast between Manvi and Karachi near the Jakku port by the evening of the 15th of June. We'll keep our viewers updated on the same back after a short break.